Fester Gut. This is another one of the easier fights in here as long as you know what's going on. This is a two tank fight. The fight begins with the boss casting an ability called Gastric Bloat on his target, usually the tank, which will do damage and add a debuff that increases damage done by 10% per stack. It is best to have a DPS take the first one and then have a tank taunt off so there is extra damage at the start. Once this stack reaches 10, it will cause massive raid damage and most likely wipe your raid. Because of this, you should have your main tank hold the boss until 9 stacks and then have your off tank taunt off so that the debuff does not reach 10. There is also an ability called Gaseous Blight, which will do small shadow damage to the raid throughout the whole fight. The boss has an ability called Inhale Blight, which will increase his damage and attack speed by 25% per stack. Usually when the tanks swap for the first time, he is at 3 stacks, resulting in 75% increased damage and attack speed. So make sure your healers and tanks are prepared for that. Once the Inhale Blight reaches 4 stacks, he will use Pungent Blight, which causes massive shadow damage to the entire raid. To survive this shadow damage, the boss will use a Gas Spore on 2 random targets. Once these spores expire, they will leave a debuff on you that will reduce your damage taken from the Inhale Blight. These spores will need to be shared with your raid members by having one expire in the melee group and the other one expire in the ranged group. The range should stack for this spore, then immediately go back to spreading out after they expire. You will need to do this a few times before Pungent Blight is cast. Vestergut will also cast Vile Gas on the ranged targets, which will cause them to lose control of their character briefly and also do damage to them. If there are any players near the target, they will also be affected meaning that the range need to spread out to avoid multiple players getting hit at the same time. You can use Bloodlust whenever you want, most groups don't really use it because they used it on Rotface. Make sure you share the spores with the raid, make sure you are ready for the tank swap, and spread out for Vile Gas, and the loot will be yours.